Hello, hello friends. Uh, I'm kind of rocking today. I was putting on my headband and just kind of stopped there and you know, I like it. So we're gonna go with it. All right, we are gonna learn about Color Field and that was created by Mark Rothko. Uh, Mark Rothko really got into wanting people to just take a lot of time to look at his work. And to be honest, there's not a lot to look at because it's not little images and people and things. It's just color, just color. And to be honest, I have visited a museum and seen one and I just didn't get it at the time. My mother's taught me a lot about art and she's not really into modern art. So I think I just didn't learn and learn to appreciate it. So I do appreciate it more, though I don't think I would stare at it for a very long time. But he had an idea that hopefully color can connect to our feelings and our emotions, which really color does do that. And maybe at some point we'll learn about that. Um, blue gives us an idea of safety and security. A lot of times that's why um, certain companies like to have a blue logo or emblem. Uh, so there are things like that that do actually connect to our emotions with color. So he wanted to combine colors together to try to um, create feelings. So we are going to go ahead and get started here. I will flip my camera around and I want to show you how we're going to go ahead and try to recreate a Mark Rothko color field painting. Not really a painting, so you'll see what I mean. Alrighty, so we are going to use material. Um, I sew, so I do have, I've actually been making masks, so I have a lot of scraps here. But I'll show you another thing to use if you do not happen to have scraps. Now you could just do it on a flat surface that you have, or you can use a white piece of paper as your template. Uh, your space that you're going to create your art. Okay, so basically what you want to do is just start making your color field. Now I could make this into some image. Maybe I thought this looked like water, so I'd add some more blue up or above it, but Mark Rothko was all about just simple color, not really creating images. Okay, I want it to overlap and so I don't really see the white. So there's one. I could take an image of that. And there's one of my Marth Rock, Mark Rothko um, artworks. So let's try an even smaller piece of paper though. Let's pretend this is really small. So I have some really small strips here. And I might just want to layer these. And they don't even have to be even. Do you see how that one's not even? I think that makes it more interesting. Color field. Okay, that is my camera sound if you couldn't tell. All right, I'm gonna take a larger piece of paper here. And the other thing that you can use besides these little strips of material that not everybody has in their house is t-shirts. So maybe I am going to layer my colors up a little bit so that, that green is just really skinny. There we go. It looks a lot like a Mark Rothko color field painting actually. So there's another one. Okay. Take that out. And I could switch it up. Just have a little bit of blue down there. There you go. All right, so that gives you a pretty good idea. I hope you have fun with this project. It is a little bit easier, to be honest. Uh, you don't have to get lots of supplies out. You can just experiment with color and you can even take pictures of it. Uh, send it to your art teacher and share it with your family. So even ask your family, um, you know, what colors they like the most together. Uh, what colors do you think look good together? What colors do you even have in your room? Maybe you have lots of certain colors and not a whole lot of others. Maybe think about why that is. Why are you attracted to certain colors? Because they might make you feel a certain way. They might make you feel happy. Well, I hope this kind of makes you think about color and how it can make you feel. How can you express with color? And just have fun with it. See you later.